Hey guys, uh, so I had this complicated uh, patient uh, ventilator asynchrony and uh, I thought I would share it with you and try to make sense of it. Uh, so uh, let's understand this graphic here. Uh, first, you can see that the patient is on ABB CMV, which is uh, pressure regulated mode, meaning that we're targeting at a volume of 500 and we're doing this with uh, pressure regulation. The pressure would go up and down based on uh, feedback mechanism uh, coming from the previous uh, breath based on the resistance and the compliance of the system. You can see here pressure over time, flow over time, and volume over time. We have it set up at rate of 18 with a PEEP of 10. And you can see here PEEP is around 10. Starting from the left here, this is expiration. You can see expiratory flow going up to zero. And at this point here, the pressure rose. Looks like it's ventilator initiated breath with a positive pressure. However, there was no flow here and there is no volume. So the pressure that is given is determined by the tidal volume that was generated in the previous breath. But in this breath here, the pressure did not result in any flow or tidal volume. So we need to understand what happened to prevent any flow into the system. And then if we follow through, you can see that there is a drop in the pressure. This should be by the patient, even though we don't see the pink triangle here. But that drop in the pressure resulted into inspiratory flow and you can see that there is inspiratory tidal volume of around 400. This drop in the pressure followed by a bigger drop in the pressure went down to probably minus 18, plus 10, so it is minus 28. And that resulted into an inspiratory flow. That triggered the ventilator and you can see the pressure that was given by the ventilator is slightly higher than the previous one. Why? Because the previous one did not result in, into any tidal volume. So the machine gave a higher pressure. So as I said, the pressure will be regulated up and down. It goes up by two to three centimeter each breath. So this breath was given by an increase of two or three centimeter of water that resulted into huge inspiratory flow, of course, because the patient is inhaling at the same time. And that resulted into a total tidal volume here of around probably 900. So that 900 is added to the 400. The decrease in the tidal volume to zero here is just recalibration in the system because the next breath started. So what we have inside now is four, uh, 400 plus 900, so almost 1300. And then we have expiration here. It's a prolonged expiration to this point here. So what we can see is the tidal volume goes below the zero line because we got rid of 800 and then whatever below the zero line that we don't see here is because of this. Same thing happens here. See, there is a breath, and this is ventilator initiated breath. It's given with the same pressure as the last one here. Maybe it's a bit lower. Why? Because that pressure gave uh, or resulted into higher tidal volume. So the pressure will start going down because, again, it's regulated pressure. But this pressure did not result into any flow or any tidal volume. 
Again, the patient initiated a breath. So this is patient initiated breath. You can see huge uh, or high flow and huge tidal volume. Same thing happened again. A synchrony with the ventilator. Uh, I'm not sure why he's not getting the volume, but I can say that this pressure was not enough to overcome the resistance or the uh, elastance of the system, so resulted into no flow. Whether the patient was actually uh, trying to exhale at the same time, it is not clear. But here, huge effort by the patient resulted into large tidal volumes. Same thing happened with the next breath. Put your comments in the uh, in the comment section uh, section of this uh, YouTube or on the website. I would be happy uh, to discuss this further. Thank you.